it's the Games and Grabs podcast. This week, we discuss all the news coming out of the latest Nintendo Direct and give predictions for this Sunday's Elimination Chamber. What's happening, everybody? Welcome to the Games and Grabs podcast. This is episode 90. I'm Sunny, and with me, as always, is Finn Steele. Hello! Finn, how you doing? Much better, thank you. Much yeah. better than last week, yes. Good. <laughs> um, me too. I mean, we've had Excellent. a we've, we had a week off doing the regular podcast. Yes. Uh, because we literally could not do it physically. Yes, because, I died. Yeah, uh, Finn died. Rip. Rip. And I died as well. I had bronchitis. Uh, I had to rip. take a whole heap of steroids <laughs> to tell, yeah. bring me back to life. Look very John Cena right now. Yeah, you can tell. <laughs> uh, if you're watching the video version of this podcast now, you can obviously tell because um, this neck part here that I don't know the name for. The neck. Yep, is much musclier now. <laughs> and I am more hench than I was previously. Um, so yeah, I mean, the roids have done me, you know, not only a world of good, like from a health perspective, but I'm now ripped. Nice. Excellent. Yeah, that's how it good works, stuff. I think. Yeah, of course. Of course, yeah. Take steroids and then get ripped. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> uh, so uh, while we were off, uh, we I did a very special interview with uh, Mike from Retro, Stuff, Retro Soft Studios. That's the one. Uh, about Retro Mania Wrestling, which yeah. is a brand new game that's going to be coming out Q1 next year, nice. potentially. Looks good. Uh, it's going to be really cool. Really and cool. I'm super excited. Me too. Um, and it's really, really cool to be in communication with those guys. Uh, so watch this space. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, uh, our partnership with Turnbuckle TV has now been officially announced. Yes, announced and launched and it's going good. Yeah. So far, uh, so good. We're going to have our own space on the Turnbuckle TV site. Yep, yep. And we're going to be recording some special videos uh, for the site, yes. as well as our weekly podcast as well, will uh, go on there, I believe. Yeah, sounds good to me. Cool. And uh, you can subscribe to Turnbuckle TV. We will have a code at some point that you'll be able to use to subscribe because you're our world's biggest fans. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, number number one Games of Grass fans. Yes. Yes. We know you are out there. Yes, somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. We'll, we'll find you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll find you. You won't find us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll come to you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If we turn up at your door one day, it's knocking doors. So, oh, it's us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll be there invading your personal space. Yeah. Who are these two weird at the door, mummy? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's us. Oh, man. It's... This is started This is started really well this week. Good start. Good start. Yeah, really good start. <laughs> you can tell we've had a week off, cause, yeah. like, and you can tell it's like Friday night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because both of us are like... <laughs> 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 How's it been? That's all it's going to be now. Just us, the sound effects. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just going to be rambling, probably. <laughs> probably. We have these episodes, though. They happen every now and then. They're probably oh, yeah. happy every... Happy? Happy. They probably happen every 10 episodes happy, or something. Happy every now Clap your hands. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Podcast. Getting your grabs. <laughs> Subscribe now. <laughs> the world's best podcast. Yep. Probably. Confirmed. Number one. Mm-hmm. We're, the same, we're the same random as of the podcast world. We are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sonny and McFinn. Yeah, that's, that's me. Wow. McFinn. McFinn. I've got a m- milkshake at the minute. Nice. Yeah. That's why I was late today. Uh, what flavor? Uh, strawberry. Good choice. It's the best flavour. Yeah, I think I agree with that. Yeah. 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 Agreed. If you disagree, you're wrong. Yep. So yeah. we, we confirmed the strawberry's the best flavour. Yeah. Come Finn, what have you been playing this week? <laughs> uh what indeed. Quite <laughs> quite, a, quite a bit. Um so Resident Evil 2. I have uh, finished Leon's scenario on the hardcore. Ka-ching. Congratulations. Uh, live on stream. How was uh, it? Difficult, but fun. Right, okay. <laughs> difficult, difficult but fun. I liked it. Okay. Uh, challenging but in a good way. Um yeah, really, really enjoyed it. On to Clebby. Um uh, gonna do Claire scenario next. And then after that, uh, it's cleaning up the rest of the trophies and hopefully get the platinum trophy. Mm. Yes. You are hardcore. I am. Yeah. yeah. Of course, obviously. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. Finn's hardcore. Finn's <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> hardcore Finn. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, play more uh, Persona 5 Dancing All Night. Cool. Uh, or whatever it's called, Dancing in Starlight, Moonlight, one of those. Starlight. That's the one. Yeah. Uh, it's excellent. It's The music's so good. Just the, the, just the communication between the characters is awesome. Uh, and yeah, I love it. It's weird uh, though, isn't it? It's a bit weird, but I like weird. Like I, st- I, I played it and I'm like, this is really weird. I mean, I have played <laughs> um, a good few hours of Persona Five. Oh yeah, and I'm, I'm 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 looking at this game. I'm like, this is this is it's, weird. It's pretty weird. Like, I like like I like rhythm games. We've just we've talked about this before. Oh yeah, and you know I like Hatsune Miku and all that kind of thing. 
But this this is like a whole new level of weird. <laughs> and I actually think it's quite difficult. Like the game itself is quite difficult. Yeah. When you get rid of the weirdness, <laughs> and believe me, that takes a lot. <laughs> because there is a heap of talking at the beginning of that game. It's a lot of talking. Yeah. At least nonsense as well. <laughs> it's just nonsense. It if, is. If you haven't played all the three to Persona 5, then yeah. And you haven't played like Persona, the original dungeon game, the Persona 4 one, then yeah, it's a bit weird. It's nonsense, it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's fair. But it's fun nonsense. But yeah. it's, it's nonsense nonetheless. I love it. I love nonsense. Uh, but the, uh, the, I actually think the, the dancing uh, rhythm aspect of it is actually really difficult it's, yeah, to master. Yeah, yeah pretty difficult. But just just because of the way that the things are positioned on the screen. Yeah, I think that's originally because it was like a beta game. So you had like, it's a lot easier to see all the things going yeah. on at once. But when it's spread out on the big TV, it's a lot harder to like see yeah, everything. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it takes me getting used to it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else? A bit more Kingdom Hearts 3. I can put, kind of put more Kingdom Hearts 3 on the back burner for now until I finish like Red Evil 2 and some other things. Mm-hmm. Um, now get back to putting more my attention in Kingdom Hearts. Um, so that's that. And uh, a bit more Grand Tour game. I just come new episodes every week on that. Yeah. Which is awesome. Um, still, still enjoying it? Yeah, it's still fun. Yeah, it's, it is fun. Yeah, it's a nice, nice little thing to play every week. It's like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's so worth the 11.99 that it costs. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. It's like... because, because you get new, like, you get a good couple of hours worth of DLC every week yeah yeah and there's like 10 there's going to be 10 episodes in season 3 I think yeah I think so Isn't and what right? I assume they're going to do is then add season 1 and 2 fully because oh, yeah. there's only one episode of each yeah yeah so it's the first episode from episode from season 1 and then the first episode from season 2 yeah yeah so I think they'll probably go back and do that that'd be cool uh, awesome um, well I think that's pretty much it uh, oh played a bit of uh, Apex Legends that came out yeah, that um, came out actually. Let's out talk about Apex Legends because <laughs> um, it, it sort of snuck out last week. Yeah, it's a Titanfall guy. It's like, oh hey, we've got a new game, Battle War game, made in the Titanfall universe. Yeah, there it is. Enjoy. I mean, I saw oh, the okay. rumors on the internet like the <laughs> night before it came out. And yeah. I, in fact, it might have even been the morning it came out yes. because it was like, oh, uh, Respawn are, are going to be, be bringing a, uh, bat- a Titanfall Battle Royale out today, and I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, this what? what, what? <laughs> I've not heard about this game at it's, all. Yeah, yeah. Like, literally. completely under the radar. Uh, and they released it, and I'm going to put it out there and just say it. It is the best Battle Royale game you can get at the minute. It's pretty good. Uh, it's better than Fortnite. It's way better than PUBG. <laughs> um, it's better It's better than the Call of Duty Blackout. It's just really good. It works really well. You get into a game very quick. The uh, mechanics from, like, as you know, with regards to the squads is actually really clever because you don't actually have to talk to each other yeah I do like that actually, yeah. Cool. I, I think it's difficult to play Fortnite in squads if you don't talk to each other yeah but definitely. with this like you, there's buttons you use to communicate where yeah. you want to go uh, whether there's weapons or health or whatever on the floor yeah because like I think it's R1 isn't it like press R1 look at, yeah. look at, look at the, th- the items to press R1 it's like hey there's a thing over here yeah and it's like I go to your whole team it's like oh hey it's not going to go yeah. and like you can it's point cool. in the direction and go let's go this way yeah yeah and we'll then your up, whole yeah. team knows to go that way yeah yeah and it's, it, it's just really really good and I, I think it's I, I, I mean it is the best Battle Royale game and I think it's turned a lot of heads yeah definitely I Dude. mean it's blowing Fortnite away on Twitch good <laughs> uh, I think Fortnite's run its course. I think uh, so. There will still have its, you know, hardcore players, hardcore. and people. There will be people that won't have that Apex Legends is better. Uh, and with it being a first-person game, um, it isn't going to be for everybody. Yeah. But I think the, I mean, the Titanfall gunplay is excellent anyway, and it transitions really well into this. Whereas I think Fortnite is a good game, and I've always thought it's a good game. It's just annoying. Um. <laughs> But I think it makes Blackout on Call of Duty Black Ops 4 look like an absolute mug. Yeah, I don't play that one to be honest. But, uh, because, I mean, yeah. although Blackout is okay, it's fine. Uh, to me, it's just uh, a first-person PUBG. Yeah, fair. But it actually works better. <laughs> yeah, I um, But it's really, really good. Um, you know, you don't have to buy stuff. The option is there, but it's all cosmetic. Yeah. No game-winning stuff it's... or anything like that. It, you don't have to buy stuff. Yeah. It's just very good. And... There's achievements and trophies, and it's a free game. Yeah, great. Excellent. Uh, Not to brag, but I got kill leader in my first game. Very nice. Four very kills. Nice. I don't have that trophy. I probably never will. Uh, I got a 75 <laughs> gamer score for it. Nice. Wow, that's probably, that's probably good, actually. For the first. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> wow. there's, only like, there's like 10 trophies or something on it. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's still a thousand points, is it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Cool. No platinum on PS4. No platinum? No. Yeah, it's a thousand points on Xbox. Nice. I'll check it out. Mm. Um, 
Cool, that's that. Yeah, speaking of Battle Royale games, uh, Tetris 99. That came out as well, literally yesterday. Yeah, weird, right? <laughs> that's a Tetris, Tetris Battle Royale game. Have you and played it yet? I have played a few games of it. And um, how is it? It's Tetris. Okay. <laughs> literally just Tetris. Literally Tetris. You can see like other guys all around you playing their game. Um, I think there's some way you can like, like, attack, like getting Tetrises to like, I mean, blocks into other people's things and you get blocks in yours. It's like... Like Puzzle I, Fighter? I, I guess. <laughs> it's <laughs> It's bizarre. Um, it is kind of annoying when you get like suddenly get like four blocks pushed up, pushing you up out of nowhere. Um, I think a lot of it is just a lot, a lot like block based and a lot random, like most battle games to be fair. But uh, yeah, it's it's been Tetris. If you like Tetris, you'll probably enjoy it. So and, and it's free. free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no which, is like, which is a big sell. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I believe I like one of the games you can just jump in and play like Terminator in there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's decent. It's got like five million players already. Wow. Not bad. Yeah, every time I play it, it's like I'm going to the game like instantly. Yeah, I'm going like, to try. I haven't, I haven't yet, but I will do probably later on today. Yeah, it's fun. If you like Tetris, then give it a try. Yeah, I'm rubbish at Tetris, so I'm going to oh, be yeah, terrible at this. But yeah, I think the thing best of them is like top like like twenty something I've got. I got. That's pretty I, good. I won't make that. Yeah. No way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not <laughs> one single chance. Uh, most of them, most of them are like dying first fifty. Mm. Or die, so lose whatever. But uh, yeah, and then I think that's pretty much it for what I've been playing so far. A bit more Smash maybe, but than that. Yeah. Cool. How about you? We've been playing. I've been playing quite a lot, to be honest, because I had a lot of time free because I was off work like, because I was just completely dying. Yeah, that's fair. So I had like a week off. Um, so I finally finished Gears of War 4. Nice. And I loved it. I cool. wish I'd have beaten it before. <laughs> um, but it was really great. Uh, I thought the story was fun. The characters were great. Uh, the gameplay was Gears of War. Graphics were amazing. Um, and it was just really, really good. Cool. Uh, so it. I'm all set for Gears 5 later this year. Now, oh, yeah. So I'm uh, really excited that I've done that finally. Um, I'm carrying on with Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Nice. I'm starting to enjoy it a bit more now. Okay. Yeah, it um, seems to take a while. I'll notice. It takes, it takes a bit of a while to get into it. It's the it, it's the annoying nature of the characters. <laughs> the fair. gameplay is great, and it's one of the best looking games I've ever played. Wow. Like nice. genuinely, it really is. Um, but it's just because Lara is so dull, <laughs> and Jonah is is just a wet wipe. <laughs> right? it's a wet wipe. <laughs> and it's nice. it's just just desperately dull, Ugh. but the gameplay is r- so good. Like the gunplay is good, um, the, the the new stealth bits in it are really good because you can like hide in mud walls. Oh yeah, and there's parts where like Lara can cover herself in mud, like to to hide herself, and it's right. and that is really really cool. It's a great new feature, and I like the way that you can play the game pretty much however you want. If you want to go exploring, fine, go and do that. But if you want to just bomb on and do the story, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, everything is optional apart from the story, obviously. Yeah. But um, I'm, I'm enjoying it more. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going with it. I'm gonna plow through it, and I'm um, just trying to clear a couple of games out of my my backlog that I'm just sick and tired <laughs> of seeing on my Xbox dashboard. You know, yeah, I know um, really. like you know, like, you see the tiles there, and you're like, I just need to get that out of the way because that is yeah. doing my head in. Yeah, I have a lot of those on PS4, <laughs> definitely. So yeah, oh, boy. Um, I tried Crackdown, the first one, for the <laughs> first time ever. Nice. I streamed it. Um, and yeah, I, I really liked it. Yeah, it's good. I love Crackdown 1. It's awesome. <laughs> I, I think I remember playing it back in the day, maybe, <laughs> and thinking, this is bloody crap. But <laughs> and uh, but I don't know why I thought that. And I went back and played it. Uh, it's the, obviously the one from the Xbox 360, but it is Xbox One X enhanced. Oh, nice. So they've upped, upped it to 4K, and it looks brilliant. Cool. For a 360 game, you wouldn't know it was a 360 game. Nice. It looks great, and it's just so much fun. It's mindless. Yeah, exactly. It's like um, collecting orbs, beating people up. That is about. literally it. You do not need to think at <laughs> all in that game. Yeah. The story, I have no idea what it is. I guess you've just got to kill all the crime bosses and take the city back. Yeah, you're a secret agent to bounce, kill stuff. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Pretty much it. But it's mindless <laughs> fun. Um, I haven't had a chance to try Crackdown 3 yet. Uh, Microsoft couldn't send me a code. That's fair. But they did send me three months of Game Pass to nice. play the game so that's fine as well that day. <laughs> so, thanks Microsoft I appreciate you ting um, but I was in the top 1% of uh, people who earned Gamerscore last year so oh nice uh, very cool thank you uh, yeah I'm, I'm intrigued by Rockdown 3 it hasn't reviewed super great but then I don't the first one reviewed super great either so I don't like that so I don't know. maybe I'll try it one day they're, but what they're saying okay. is it's I mean what, I think <laughs> what the reviews are saying is it's just underwhelming yeah Cause it, the, the problem is now um, I mean, Xbox has had a terrible run yeah. with poor exclusives. I mean, yeah, State of Decay wasn't great. I'm sure it's better now. Mm. Uh, sea of Thieves uh, mm. was fun, but shallow. No pun intended. Um, yeah. <laughs> See what you did there. Uh, and this, 
uh, you know, what they're saying is it's a lot of fun. Like, a, a, but that's people's takeaway from it. There's no real story. Um, <laughs> yeah, fun. All you do is blow stuff up, kill people, and collect orbs as Terry Crews. That sounds fun to me. <laughs> well, it sounds fun to me as well. I've got it downloaded on my console, and I am going to try it, and I will stream it. Nice. Uh, just to give <clears throat> my thoughts on the game, like I said, I would do. But I'm intrigued by it. I really like the first one, and if the third one is more of the same, and it's a game that you can throw on for an hour and just smile away, then that's good enough for me. Yeah, me too. Uh, I, you know, sometimes you need that kind of distraction. I mean, it's awesome having your your story driven single player games like like God of War, like Uncharted, and The Last of Us, and all that sort of stuff, um, and Gears of War, and you know, <laughs> but sometimes you need. You know, just a little bit of fun. Yeah, definitely. Because, you know, just give me a story where I need to kill people. It's... And that if, that, if that's what it is and it's not overly complicated, like, hey, here's this guy, here's all these guys around the city, just kill them all. Yeah, Find a way to me. kill them all. Yeah, kill all the things. Jump, Go. smash, shoot, beat people up, run <laughs> people over, whatever, just do that. Yes, do the, do the killing, please. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've been playing Oli Oli Switch Stance on Switch. Oh, uh, yeah, I thought you were. It's awesome. Nice. I really love it. It's, I mean, I think it was always going to be good. Um, I mean, you can already get Oli Oli 1 and 2 on the Vita. So the handheld has already tried and tested, really. But it's great. Uh, it works perfectly. It's very cheap. It's less than £15. Okay. And you get two really good games. So that's definitely worth checking out. Excellent. Nothing really new to report on it. It's exactly the same game <laughs> that's that fair. you get on. PS4 and Xbox One or wherever, whatever you play it on. Yeah, uh, but it's great. Yeah, yeah. Never, never played it before, and you have a Switch. Buy it. Yeah, check I mean, it out for fifteen for less than fifteen quid. It's one hundred percent worth it. Oh yeah, bargain. I've been playing more New Star Manager. Uh, I reviewed that as well. Uh, I feel like I was maybe slightly unkind and possibly a little bit harsh on it, mm-hmm. uh, but I do like it, and I've wasted a lot of time on it. But there's something that there's there's things about it that annoy me. Yeah, I still keep going back. So that must say something about the game. Fair play. Um, otherwise, uh, I mean, I've been mainly playing my Xbox. Cool. Uh, I've got a few different bits that um, I'm yet to play. I've got a game called uh, Degrees of Separation. Ooh. And I played a little bit of it yesterday, and it's beautiful. Sounds sexy. Um, it's like um, it's like a platform game. Ooh, I like platforms. It's mainly for for two people. Oh, interesting. So you, have... you knew someone who liked platform games. Sorry? Yeah, if only you knew someone who liked platform games, maybe yeah. a podcast co host or something. I don't know anybody. Yeah. Um, but so there's, you, there's two characters. One's a girl, uh-huh. uh, and she's like in like a forest, and there's a, a guy, and he's in like some sort of ice place. And you have to work together and combine the two elements to help you get through the game. I'm assuming the end That's game cool. is you meet up, but it's super pretty. It's not the most sophisticated from a, um, from a uh, gameplay standpoint. But it's very innovative f- from the way that it, it, it the game is meant to work. So yeah, you understand what cool. I mean by that? Yeah, I think so. I think it sounds cool. Like the jumping stuff, you know, the, the jump, the running and jumping and stuff is very basic. The premise behind the game is very clever. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's its selling point. Cool. Um, and that's really cool. So we will we will try that out, and we will. Well, I think that'd be cool to stream actually. Yeah, it'd be a good one actually. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll have a look sounds at good. that. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been playing all sorts of different bits, but uh, I've been playing a lot of Fire Pro. I'm nice. not sure what my problem is with it at the minute. I just love it. <laughs> yeah, it's just good. Cannot that's... get enough of playing it. It's a great game. Uh, but I, I, yeah, I'm just a, a massive nerd. I've sorted all my wrestlers out into uh, the factions that they're meant to be in. I cool. say factions. I mean, like uh, NXT UK, NXT. Oh, yeah. uh, I've, I've done it like that because I'm a nerd. Yeah, that's fair. I would do the same thing to be fair. I think I would think I've done the same thing to be fair. <laughs> I had them all over the place for a little while, uh-huh. and it was just annoying me. So I was like, right, okay, I'm going to separate them. <laughs> and I've also created title belts and stuff for them. <laughs> uh, man, I'm so cool. The coolest. <laughs> the, the, the coolest. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's talk gaming news. Right. So Nintendo had a thing. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. I'm just trying to find it desperately on my laptop. Um, Nintendo Directs. Um, always big news coming out on Nintendo Directs. Yeah, for sure. Lots of excitement coming around them. And this one's no different. Lots of big news. I think this is the best one yet. Quite possibly, yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, very cool. Um, so it showed off a bit more um, of Joker and Smash, which is cool. Yeah. Didn't announce anyone new. But just showed just showed like mostly just Joker is stuff. It and next how it month looks. or something. Uh, yeah, I can see. I think it's yeah, I think it's March. Yeah, I think it's March. Yeah. Yeah, that's not right. Um, also showed probably perhaps the biggest thing coming out of it was uh, Mario Maker Two. A new is Mario the Maker. Biggest coming out of it. I think so. I think Mario Maker's pretty huge. 
But then there's also, yeah, since we've had a few things on there, which are pretty huge as well. But one of the biggest things, Mario Maker 2. That's awesome. I love Mario Maker 1. Yeah, I remember you playing it a little while ago. Um, it looked cool. It's not for me personally, but um, I'm glad that, you know, they are bringing it to Switch. Well, making it. It's a new one, isn't it? It's not yeah, a new, remake yeah, for a change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, very cool. I was playing one of my most played games at Wii U. Um, not that that difficult because one of the huge amount of games on Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, great game. I'll probably stream more the first one leading up to release. That's cool. Um, so, yeah, that's really cool. Really, really cool. Look forward to playing more of that. Um, also announced a new Zelda game, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Which is a remake of the uh, original Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color game. It was yes. a Game Boy game. Which was also released on Game Boy Color. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it looks amazing. It's cool. Yeah, like, oh like, like, my like, god. Yeah, it looks amazing. It looks like a, like a claymation kind of animation I've got going on. Yeah, I mean um, the little bits of footage I've seen um, sort of look. You know, it's the same sort of uh, perspective as Pokemon Let's Go. Yeah, yeah, like top down classic Zelda kind of thing. It's, it looks great. I can't wait. Yeah, this is good. Really so excited, excited for that. that. Me too. It's gonna be awesome. Um, awesome. Awesome. Uh, also announced a new Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem Three Houses, which is the first uh, console, main console Fire Emblem game since uh, the Wii Rain and Dawn, Rain and Dawn for the Wii in 2007. Is this very much a, a U game? Yes. Okay, right. <laughs> very much so. Very Japanese, very uh, tactics heavy, um, but very cool. I love, I love uh, Fire Emblem. So this is one for me for sure. Excited for that. Cool. Um, what else? Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Yeah. Awesome. That's very cool. I'm so into that. I mean, I think yeah. we spoke about it before. Can't beat him up. But um, yeah, Marvel. I'm well into that. I love the first two. Uh, it's cool that this is exclusive to Switch. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited for it. I can't wait. Yep. It's going to be awesome. For sure. Uh, Dungeon Night Night, we talked about earlier. It did announce that there. And so, oh, by the way, it's out now. Sweet. What's out now? Uh, Tetris 99. Oh, yeah, Tetris 99, sorry. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, out now, a demo for Yoshi's Crafted World is available right now. Have you played it? I have. How is it? Really good. Adorable. <laughs> so, so cute. I've got it on my Switch. I've not played it yet. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to playing it. It looks great. Yeah, it's so good. Classic Yoshi. Um, yeah, just a great game. Great, nice, simple. What is it, a platformer? Um, yeah, sort of. Class- platformer and just, yeah, I'll just claim it. It's just a nice, classic um, 2D platformy kind of I like the design. Game. It's like uh, Little Big Planet. <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah, super cute. Um, I love it. I'm definitely okay. buying that when it comes out. There we go. Um, so good. Uh, also announced that Assassin's Creed 3 is coming to Twitch on May 21st. That's an interesting one. You get that yeah. and Liberation. Now, is yep. Liberation the a PSP one? It's a PS Vita game, that oh, one. Oh, it's the Vita one. Yeah, it? yeah. Okay, right. Which one's that? Is that like, it's got boats and stuff on it? Um, the pirate one? I don't remember. I think it's, the wo- I think a woman is the main character. It's like, I think it was that different one. I can't remember. Um, I have played it and it was good. I didn't enjoy it. But uh, yeah. So it's more of Assassin's Creed for Switch. That's good. Yeah, I'll probably get that, to be honest. Cause I, I, um, that, it'd be interesting to see how it plays on Switch. Yeah, yeah. It's coming two months after the Xbox One and the PS4 version of Assassin's Creed 3 and Liberation. Nice. But I'm assuming it's, you know, because it's <laughs> never been on Switch, whereas it has been on those other... Con- well, it has been on other PlayStation consoles and Xbox consoles. Mm-hmm. It's probably easier to port it to that. Probably. Whereas it's probably a bit more difficult to port it to Switch because you have to do different stuff for it. Yeah. I guess. I guess. Uh, but yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, also announced a Hellblade is coming to Switch. It's okay. a PS4 exclusive. It'd be very interesting to see how that runs. Yeah, yeah. Because that was a very, like, very pretty, high-def, awesome-looking game back yeah. on PS4. Um, and that's bringing to Switch, which is, isn't a super pretty high-def <laughs> machine. So, uh, yeah, interesting to see what that looks like and how it plays. Yeah. Sure. Um, yeah. I, I'm, I'm definitely very interested to see it. I, I probably won't get it because I've already... I've done it on PS4. I'm currently doing it on Xbox. Nice. Um, so I probably won't bother with it on Switch, but I would be. I will be interested to sort of hear what people think about it when it does come out. It's a yeah. really great game. I oh, mean, so good. it's awesome that these types of games are coming to Switch. Oh yeah, because they're awesome experiences. I mean, Hellblade isn't very long. It's only a few hours, a few short hours as well. It's like five or six hours, maybe. Yeah, yeah. If that, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's cool that these games are coming to Switch. I'd just be interested to see how it runs because obviously. Hmm. They have to optimize it for handheld and big screen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that is another thing, that, you know, like what I just said about Assassin's Creed. It's probably another thing they have to factor in. Yeah, yeah. But it's cool that you get to play Assassin's Creed 3 on a little handheld thing. That's exactly, awesome. yeah. yeah. No, I mean, Assassin's Creed 3 is not the best Assassin's Creed. Oops, sorry. Uh, it's uh, nowhere <laughs> near, in fact. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not amazing, but it's still a good game. On 3, what's the best Assassin's Creed? 1, 2, 3. Assassin's two. Creed 2, yep. Yep. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> it's 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 Ezio. Ezio is awesome. Oh, God, What's that you just did with your hand? What? It's, uh, I don't know. It's the best, uh, isn't it? Best I thought isn't you were like, like throwing the guns up. No, I was like shrugging because I don't know. I thought you were throwing <laughs> triggers up, like a gang sign. 
<laughs> no, no. It's uh, yo. Uh, it's yo, boy. I can have a statue of Ezio over there. <laughs> Never do that again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no promises. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I can have a, stat- a statue of Ezio over there on my uh, shelf. Uh, yeah, best game. Uh, that's, that's a good game. Uh, yes, very cool. Uh, what else happened? Uh, Final Fantasy VII is coming to Switch next month. Great. And it's on of, everything. Yeah, it's on everything now. Uh, speaking of Final Fantasy IX, is out now on Switch. I like how Nintendo do that. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, um, <laughs> you want this game? Here it is, now. Yeah, yeah, here it is, right now. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, sorry, for Final Fantasy VIII. Always gets left out. It was seven and nine. Why is it? Why is it that Final Fantasy... I don't I know. we just had the 20th anniversary of Final Fantasy VIII. We have, yeah. And then no one seemed to care. Well, Square didn't seem to care. Um, which is weird, because it's good. It's not a bad game. Not bad Final Fantasy. It's awesome. I loved it. Everyone loved it. Yeah. Um, it? <laughs> I'm just curious as to why. Yeah. Why I it gets left out. Because I feel like every Final Fantasy has had some sort of re-release. Yeah, yeah. I mean, eight's on PC, I'm pretty sure it's on Steam. So why not on PS4 and everything else? Come on, Square. Show some love for eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So that's that. Uh, Dead by Daylight is coming to Switch. Cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, yeah. Be interesting to see how it's released. Yeah. Uh, like whether it's with DLC or uh, with yeah. without DLC. Hmm. I, I bet, yeah. I bet they one one pack with all DLC and one without. Usually, so yeah, do it, innit? Maybe. Yeah. Who knows? We'll see. I think at this point, it'd be wise for them to release a Dead by Daylight Complete Edition. That's a good point, actually. It's been a while, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. to be honest, I, I was... Um, going back to Apex, I was sort of, you know... When you look at Dead by Daylight, mm. and the and I'm not knocking it, because it's obviously a, a very good game, and oh, it's yeah. a game that we've had a lot of enjoyment out of, and it's, you know, K is the master of Dead by Daylight. <laughs> awesome. But given the quality of... Apex Legends and Fortnite and other free-to-play games, Warframe. I mean, Jesus Christ, Warframe has got a heap of content. Yeah, seriously. Dead by Daylight, to me, could be a free-to-play game with purchasable DLC. That would make sense. It would be like, a, good way to, a smart way to go, I think. Yeah. I, I think it would be a great way to get players on board. Yeah, yeah. be a fantastic way to break the servers. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> but I think it's obviously doing well. It has a massive community. Oh, yeah. And it really does. But I think if you release the free-to-play version of it, you will introduce more people to it and make more money. Probably, yeah, definitely. I mean, you don't have to include everything. Yeah. Just like one or two survivors and one or two killers. And then if people want the rest, they can buy it. Yeah, makes sense. But I think a free-to-play model at this point, because it's been out for a couple of years now, um, would be really smart business yeah. from uh, behaviour. Yeah, yeah, and then if you have paper in the past, they can like give you. Okay, you already have all the stuff. You can keep all the couch and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Ready. I mean, there, uh, there are there are games that you've had to pay for that have gone free to play. Oh, of course, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's, it's not just unusual. Give, no, no, no. But uh, yeah, you know, that's a smart move, definitely. They're Makes not going to do that. Probably not. But yeah, they, but it would be a smart move. It would be a really smart move. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, that's about it, really. Um, Dragon Quest Eleven is coming to Twitch as well. That's cool. Uh, what about the game from Platinum? Oh yeah, what's that called? There's uh, a really cool looking game coming uh, from Platinum Games and I can't remember what it's called. Finn's about to uh, tap away on his laptop now <laughs> and uh, figure that out. Yes. It looks awesome though. It's like a, a futuristic police hack and slash shooty type Platinum Games deal. It yes. It's amazing. It's called Astral Chain. Yeah, that's it. And it looks awesome. I don't it know why it wasn't so mentioned good. on the website. Oh, oh my looking. god, it looks good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So good, good. Um, look forward to that. Platinum Games is always awesome. Big Platinum Games fan. Yeah. Bayonet 1, 2. So good. Um, Metal Gear Rising yeah Metal Gear Rising oh my god so good Love did it. they do um, Devil May Cry uh, no they, that was Capcom but a lot of the guys from Capcom who worked on Devil May Cry moved to Platinum Games and, I mean the DMC yeah. one is that oh DMC I think it might be actually yeah I think actually, that was Platinum right I can't remember hold on I'll have the game up here have a look hook reach it back back give me the gun that is uh, no I think it's just Capcom Capcom and we all... Oh, Ninja Theory. Oh, Ninja Theory, yeah, okay. Tip, yeah. Which, by the way, good game. A lot of people... That's drastic. a really good game, yeah. A lot of people drafted it because it wasn't like classic Dante, but really, really good game. Yeah, I liked it as well. I've actually played through... I've actually played through it, so... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a good game. I enjoyed it. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> if uh, I'm yeah. stuck with it, it's, pri- it's, it's probably good. <laughs> yeah, wasn't good. I do not have patience. Fair. Fair. Um, and so, yeah, that's the Nintendo, Nintendo Directs. Cool stuff. Did you play... Uh, is it Demon Machina? Um, I didn't. It's, there's a demo for it at the minute. It's like a mech type game, like uh, yeah. uh, armored core type thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a there's, you get four stages and a boss level. Nice. 
Uh, there's a demo for it at the minute. I haven't played it yet, but it looks super pretty cool. from the screens that I've seen. I'm going to try it out, but um, I was just curious to hear your thoughts. But uh, mm, if you've not played it, then... Yeah, I'll try it and let you know next week. Cool. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Um, and yeah, that's that. Cool. Any of the gaming news of worth? I don't think there is. Uh, Red Devil 2 has got free DLC out of yes, nowhere. Yes, it did, yeah. Um, literally downloaded my console today. I haven't tried to play it yet, but it looks awesome. Did it auto-download? Was it just as part of a patch? Yeah, it's just automatic. Download okay. a, couple of, a couple of new trophies as well, so... Nice. Yeah. It's like what if scenarios support characters who died in the main game. It's like what if they survived, what would happen, blah, blah. Ah, and, uh, yeah. that's cool. I like that. Very, very cool. Yes, I'll enjoy playing this. Cool. And yes. Um, and, but yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's about it. Cool. Cool. Excellent. So, wrestling. Yeah, let's talk wrestling. <laughs> um, let's start with, because obviously we missed a week and a lot happened in the week. I say a lot. One main thing happened in the week. <laughs> uh, so, Becky Lynch was removed from... Did that happen this week, actually? Yeah, that was this week, yeah. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told you, I'm, I've been wiped out, completely wiped out. That's fair. <laughs> um, yeah, so Becky Lynch has been removed from the WrestleMania match. Removed, yes. in quotes. <laughs> yes. You have been suspended for 60 days. Yeah. Uh, yes. There's no way that she isn't going to be in the main event of WrestleMania oh. and winning the championship. Yeah. It'd be something like, if you can beat Charlotte in a match... With all the all the odds stacked against you, then maybe you can get a match at WrestleMania and then see good and does it out of nowhere. Like, oh my god, Becky did it, Becky did it, Becky did it. It'll be that. It'll be exactly that. Probably, yeah. <laughs> um But I mean people are in like complete outrage that Charlotte has been added to this match. I mean, you knew it was coming. You knew it as I know it's coming. Come on. To be honest, <laughs> I'm not mad at it at all. I think it's fine. Um I think Charlotte is obviously an incredible talent and will add a lot to that match. Oh yeah, of course. But People need to... I mean, people are, like, taking to Twitter and, like, go mental about it. Like, you do realise that this is a storyline invented to piss you off for the <laughs> ultimate, with the ultimate goal of Becky Lynch having a career-defining run yeah. at the championship and standing victorious at the end of the WrestleMania pay-per-view. Yeah. yeah. That's what this is for. This is it's designed for that. There is no way that Charlotte Flair is going to leave WrestleMania with that women's championship yeah not a chance so Becky Lynch is the hottest commodity that WWE have right now there is no way that Charlotte Flair is winning that championship nope so stop being so angry and just enjoy <laughs> Becky who you all, all all of a sudden love <laughs> and just watch her be amazing for these next few weeks because it's going to be awesome I'm sure of it yeah um, yeah, so yeah, exactly. The booking is designed to piss you off and it's working. So, well done. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Vince. Like, you she was like, suspended <laughs> her last week and then the, a day later she <laughs> turned upon SmackDown. Yeah, yeah. You think she's not going to turn up? <laughs> uh, she's anti authority. She does what she wants. Yes. She's the man. Exactly. She will be turning up. She'll probably be on Raw on Monday. Probably. <laughs> Winter Biden one bit. Anyway. Right. So, yes, it starts off pretty much with that. Uh, Stephen Triple H in the ring. <coughs> Uh, hey guys, Elimination Chamber is going to be super awesome. Here's all the matches. Fuck Becky Lynch, I'm alright. And then Becky Lynch comes down. Fuck what? <laughs> what? What did you say? That's a fuck Becky Lynch, am I right? Oh yeah. And then boo. Um, so Becky Lynch comes down. Uh, Cena Doctors cleared WrestleMania. And he'll face Wanda Rousey. Although there's no mention of the fact that she might actually lose to Ruby right beforehand at Elimination Chamber. No, no, no. But yeah, forget that. <laughs> Poor Ruby. <laughs> it's like, God, no. that's a pointless match, isn't it? Yeah. It's real, I feel bad for Ruby right because she is awesome. And I do want her to have a good match against Ruby Wyatt, but there's no way she's going to win. How can, no, no, how no, can no. she? <laughs> uh, but yeah, the thing is, yeah, she actually apologised for hitting Stephanie and Triple H last week. or well, the match is off. Um, and she actually ended the line to apologise, or else. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um, so that's the thing. Uh, so we had uh, Riot Squad versus Tamina and Naya versus uh, Bailey and Shasha. Uh, the team who loses, the team gets pinned, uh, has to enter the chamber match first at Elimination Chamber. I was completely confused by this. There was one on SmackDown <laughs> as well, and I was I was really struggling to get my head around it. Yeah, it's a bit weird. I was like, wait, so they've won, and they're celebrating because they're going to go in first? Wait, no, that's wrong. Yeah. And it just, just took me ages. It's so <laughs> simple when you think about it. Yeah. But it just took me so long to compute. It's just, yeah, it, it's a bit weird. Oh, wait, I have to be a triple threat match. Where are the other teams? Oh, I think it. Um, it's bizarre. The thing that annoyed me the most is like, one point, one team is going to win. Like, I think Bailey was going to win. He's going to pin Liv for the belly to belly. And then it got broken up by Tamina. He said, why would you break it up? You don't need to win. You just need to not lose. That's the whole point. Why, yeah, I mean, why bother? Look at the Iconics on SmackDown. They weren't even in the match. Yeah. They didn't tag in once. Yeah. I love genius, by the way. I love it. Smart strategy. Yeah. But no, Tamina's so stupid. 
No, no break it up. we must win. Yes. Win. Yes. Wish they did. Um, to be fair, uh, Bailey ended up losing after a Samoan drop uh, by Nia. And Sasha Banks was like killed in the outside, wasn't he? Got taken to the back. Yeah, she, she got injured. taken to the back. She was uh, she was legit injured. Was she legit injured? Well, oh. she she has been legit injured. <laughs> oh, okay. But um, they've so they've basically just been protecting her. That's fair. Been having Bailey do most of the like the, the heavy lifting, uh, so to sense. speak. And so the, I think what they did is they had Sasha be injured yeah. during the match, so she could go to the back. But she has now been cleared to wrestle on Sunday. Good. All right. Uh, so we had uh, Elias in the ring. He was interrupted by a backstage segment by with uh, Finn Balor and Becky Lynch. Yeah. Uh, then he was still in the ring. Then he got interrupted by an ad break. <laughs> then after that, he was still in the ring and got interrupted by Lucha House Party. Of all people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that was uh, pretty funny. Um, it was actually quite a cool segment. It was pretty cool, actually. I mean, Elias has gone from face to super heel, like, real quick. <laughs> yeah, literally. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so Lucha House Party just wanted to walk with Elias. He wanted to play some music with him. Uh, Kalisa played his guitar, which actually sounded pretty good. For like it did, days. actually, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Well done. Fair play. Um, Elias was impressed. Wanted to do duet, uh, but then grabbed his guitar and smashed the motor back with it. Ouch. <laughs> um, which is fine. I guess Elias is feeding with Kalisa now. These aren't like the paper guitars that Jeff Jarrett used to use back in the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're a lot proper. But last week, well, I can't remember if it was Jeff Jarrett who hit Elias or the other way around, but that fucker didn't break. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's like a, like a full-on guitar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We actually just have to go to a music store. No paper guitars, sorry. <laughs> oh, there's no slap notes written on the back of this guitar. This is just a heavy-duty guitar. Yeah. Smack. Ouch. <laughs> rip. Uh, yeah, rip. So that's Elias and Kalisto are, are, are feuding now. That's fine. Cool. I, I feel so sorry for Elias. Yeah. Because he's, he's like, he's super over. He is. And yet he just keeps getting these garbage feuds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well. But not everybody can go for the titles. And yeah, I get that. Really I do... Nice. Uh, but you want to see your favourites do well, and Elias is one of my favourites. I think he's good. Mm. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say about it, yeah. in, tr- in truth. Fair play. <laughs> uh, then we had um, Bobby Lashley coming down to watch Finn Balor's next match, which was Finn Balor versus Drew McIntyre. Uh, so obviously, uh, last team Leo was on the outside calling distractions, as they do. Uh, Finn takes both of them out on the outside, uh, has Drew down on the floor, goes to the coup de grace, but then Bobby Lashley knocks him off the top rope and causes a DQ. Boo, etc. Congratulations to the referee. <laughs> for remembering the rules. Yes, well done. You did it. <laughs> uh, they both attacked Banner after the match until Kurt Angle comes down and makes a save. He's followed by Baron Corbin, who's followed by Braun Strowman. Hmm, six men, three on three. If only there was some sort of match type to yeah, accommodate there three isn't. men. I mean, I wish there was, Yeah, but there just isn't. I mean, they, they should probably change that. <laughs> I really should, yeah. So just, just invent something, maybe, where, like, six men, like, maybe just have, like, the three again on three or so I don't know something like that yeah that, there's, that'd be no, there's no real way to, yeah. to to do it I mean this kind of thing happens all the time yeah there's no solution yeah yeah who's the thing oh wait a minute that didn't happen a three on three tag match right after the break what <laughs> <laughs> and yeah it was fine good match uh, good guy tag team match tag team match player, player yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, love it <laughs> uh, holla holla so uh yeah, the good guys win, obviously. One of those, like, classic, easy, quick matches. Get, get the uh, good guys over. And, yeah, it's, uh, just, it's always... What makes me laugh? He's like, he comes back from break, right? <laughs> and it's always... Yeah, uh, Triple H said that during the break that this should definitely be a match, so here we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, so Finn won with the coup de grace. Uh, they keep pronouncing yes in coup de grace, by the way, which annoys me. Coup de, coup de grace? Coup de grace. Yeah, it's not called No, that. I hate that. Yeah, no, it's annoying. Coup de grass. <laughs> coup de grass. What's, what's wrong? It is. It's just wrong. It's coup de grass. You, you, you said it right this whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. Maybe they're trying to trademark it. <laughs> yes, maybe. Who knows? Uh, uh, so we had a nice little segment, nice little uh, video package with uh, Kevin Owens and the Bonnie Alley with his, yeah, with his family. Yeah, that was weird, right? Very weird. Yeah. It was cool, though. It was good to see Kevin Owens. Yeah, good team back. Uh, he seemed to be coming back as a face, which is interesting. Yeah, I read that. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. So yeah, just talks about his uh, him spending time with his family. Uh, throws a gutter ball, and which is pretty funny. That was uh, pretty funny, actually, yeah. to be fair, yes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that was that. Good, good. He's coming back soon, hopefully before WrestleMania, and he gets to do something else. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that before, though. Yeah, it's weird. Just Kevin Owens filming it on his phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kevin Owens, family man. Sure. Sure. <laughs> so maybe, maybe, have... maybe they're going to have him come back like Fred Flintstone. <laughs> God. And, <laughs> like, have him... <laughs> I wear like the caveman uh, thing, and bowling can be his thing. Maybe, maybe he can yeah. Play that little noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Please don't. 
<laughs> like when he does the cannonball in the corner, it's not the cannonball. You know what it is? Ah, uh, it's a bowling ball. Correct. Ah, uh, I see what you did there. I see what you did. Please don't do that, WWE. <laughs> Kevin, uh, Kevin Flintstones. Oh God, the <laughs> Flintstones. <laughs> well, that's the end of the podcast. Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, yeah, last episode ever. Uh, yep. <laughs> podcast cancelled. Thanks. <laughs> I'm not even sorry. <laughs> I'm just not. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, so we had uh, Nikki Cross, still without sanity. Where are they? Bring them back, please. Uh, versus Ruby Riot. Yeah. With uh, Ruby Riot, it was a decent match. Yeah, it was fine. It's I mean, bo- both really talented. Yeah, good wrestlers. But where are sanity? I know, right? Where are they? <laughs> big, where's Big Damo? Where's bloody... Like, um, uh, big Eric Damo, Young? you absolute mark. That's, sorry, I keep calling him that. It's because... Bloody... You're a mark. That's, no, why. mark. That's, That's why. why. That's exactly yeah. why. Because <laughs> I used to watch WCW, WCPW when that first became a thing. Yeah. And like, he's like, one of the big guys on there. Like, I keep thinking of his. Yeah. And that's the reason. And now you know. He's the kind of, <laughs> you're the kind of Mark that like talks about WWE wrestlers, but still calls them their indie <laughs> names, even though they've not been on the indies for like 10 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoops. My, my bad. <laughs> yeah, Kevin Steen's coming back soon. <laughs> Kevin Steen. Uh, and hopefully El Generico will be far behind you. Oh, God. Hey, have you seen Prince Puma on NXT? <laughs> Prince Puma. <laughs> Oh god, sorry guys. That was legit, legit accident. Let me see that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So yeah. Since I wear an AEW a- a- t-shirt. <laughs> <So> yeah. <laughs> we need to make a rainbow version of that gift, by the way. Like, yeah. What, the Cody gift? Yeah, yeah. Like we're gonna have like a fin gift, like with cup in the end. Yeah, yeah, it's like like next event we go to, do like a quick zoom in thing. And instead of like doing that, just have like a middle finger. I'll turn it can be like fuck AEW or something like that. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to fuck AEW. I, I, I'm I'm so intrigued by it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm intrigued by it definitely, but uh, I'm, still I'm sick of seeing that gift yeah, though for yeah. sure. It's literally everywhere. You can't I mean, it. Um, going off topic, I mean, that show <laughs> sold out in like four minutes. Oh, really? Wow, crazy. Fair play. There's a lot of interest in it, and it's I, I'm definitely going to watch it. Yeah, yeah. I'm really interested. I'm just uh, I hope it takes off. Uh, I would love an alternative. Yeah, sure. But at the minute, NXT is my alternative, so <laughs> True. I'm not even convinced I need it. But it's fine, yeah. and I'm looking forward to seeing how it progresses. Um, competition is healthy, and if it's going to make WWE better, then so be it. Yeah, absolutely. Good stuff. More wrestling More wrestling equals good. Yeah, not yes. to watch, because, you know, there's too much wrestling to watch. <laughs> well, yeah, true. Um, yeah, so it's a good match, and the most annoying thing about it was during, like, during the match, there was like a... Backstage segment between Ronda Rousey and Becky Lynch. It's like, really? It's like a three-hour show again for the somewhere else. The wrestling going on. Come on. Yeah, it's annoying. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it was very Becky heavy this week, Raw was. Yeah, yeah. Like, it seemed like every ad break it came back from, Becky's face was there. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Like, wow. And then when she came out at the end, people didn't even cheer because they just Becky'd out. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, so yeah, Ruby Wright ended up winning, which is a great result because she got a match on, on Sunday. Imagine if she'd have lost, clean. <laughs> yeah, seriously. What <laughs> chance do you stand against Ronda Rousey? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Oh god, that match is well pointless. But yeah, still it'll be a good match. Hopefully. Yeah, it'll be fine. I think Ruby Riot will be the women's champion at some point. This oh yeah, year. some point. Yeah, uh, she's my pick, early pick for Money in the Bank. Ooh, that's good. That's a really good choice, actually. Yeah, it's good. I like it. Adam Cole is my pick for the men's Money in the Bank. Maybe very cool. I like that as well. Cool, intriguing. Right. Anyway, so we had a bit with uh, Seth Rollins coming onto the ring, saying another injured superstar. Yep. Saying I'm gonna I'm gonna beat the Brock Lesnar. Then Paul Heyman comes out and says, here's Brock Lesnar. Nope, just kidding. And you're going to lose. <laughs> so, okay. And then Dean Ambrose comes down and apparently goes off script. Mm. All he said uh, was, slay the beast. Yes. Like, what? Okay, if, he, if he's gone off script, why have they sent him down? Yeah. Apparently- it's not like he's gone, uh, Vince, um, I'm going to play the music. I'm going to plug my phone in to the speakers and that. Play my own engine theme. Walk down. Say slay the beast, then go through the crowd, and I'm going to get told off. And what? Yeah. Uh, the rumor is apparently had supposed to have a lot, a lot more to say other than slay the beast, but uh, just left it at that. Sure. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Whether it's more of just more of the work that's going on, which I think it's probably work. I think it's still a work. I do still think it's a work. Yeah, me too. Um, but who knows? It's the thing. Um, I mean, that is a that is a prominent segment to be a part of. Yeah, that's a good thing. Do you think Dean will be involved in that match at WrestleMania? Maybe. Possibly, maybe. Not in a. Not in a. Um... I don't think he'll wrestle in the match. No, no. Uh, but I think he might be involved somehow. Yeah, like on some distraction or doing something. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, I still don't think he's leaving. I just don't. No, I don't. He'll be, he'll be around for a while. IMO. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's obviously just our opinion. But I just, Yeah, of course. There's something about it that isn't right. I mean, we spoke about it on the last podcast, but there just is something very fishy about it that just yeah the fact that it's very unusual yeah the fact that WWE.com put a statement up it's like that's never happened before ever ever in any wrestler in, yeah. in WWE so, so why are they doing it now it's weird 
Also, um, they cancelled that match, the intergender match that was uh, advertised. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think they might save it for WrestleMania. Oh, interesting. That'd be cool. Maybe. Maybe. That's, that, I'm, I mean, I've no idea why they've cancelled it. Uh, they've obviously been testing the waters over the last few weeks. Mm. Um, some okay reaction, some not so great reaction. Mm. But with WWE being a family show, I can sort of understand why they are uh, sceptical about doing it. Because yeah, you have advertisers yeah. and stuff to please like that. On the indies, you do whatever you want. <laughs> yes, it's like... like you, you know, you're not backed by million dollar companies that you know want to sponsor your... You, you, you've not got KFC adverts <laughs> popping up on the side of your screens. Yeah. <laughs> Because you don't have screens. Yeah, right? yeah, pretty much. It's, you know, you can do what you want on the indies, and but when you've got, you know, advert sponsors and things like that to think of, I can understand, you know, if a, if a, a, a mum, for example, was to switch Raw on and <laughs> Dean Ambrose is kicking Nia Jax <laughs> squ- square in the face. Yeah, to get that down the corner, like kicking a jabber. In 2019, <laughs> where you can't even say anything out of turn, yeah, that it just doesn't look good. And no. I get it, I do. <laughs> I'm personally, I'm all for it. I think it's fine because um, yeah. it, it, you know, as long as you portray women to be equal to men, which they are, yeah, then I don't see a problem with it. But they need to figure out a way where they can where they can please everybody that pumps money into WWE. Yeah, oh, yeah, I don't think it will. I think it'll happen eventually. I think it will. Um, I just think they need they need to. I mean, I could, I could, I can also understand why they would test the waters on a house show. That makes mm. sense. Yeah, that they. Build to it a little bit more, because you know some people will turn around and like be like, "I don't want to sponsor your, I don't want to sponsor your product or advertise on your product if you're going to have this on it." And at the end of the day, money talks. Yeah, absolutely, definitely. Um, just speaking of Dean, um, he is in a match uh, up next uh, with EC3 rematch from last week. So last week the match ended in like two minutes with like nothing walled up from EC3. Yeah, and uh, yeah, this is. Again, fine match. Um, still pretty quick. Still ended up with a wall about nowhere. But this time, Dean won. So, one each. That will be rematch next week, no doubt. And, <laughs> yeah, shrug. Probably on the uh, Elimination Chamber pre-show. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Um, but yeah, weird, weird feud for ET3's first proper feud. Just like, nothing matches. Yeah. There's a, there must be a reason they're not letting EC3 talk. It's one of his strongest points. Yeah, seriously, yeah. Uh, they will, eventually. Oh, I yeah. think when... It's so weird what they're doing with the call-ups. At the minute, because we still don't know whether EC3 is on Raw or whether he's on SmackDown. Yeah, yeah. Where is Lars? I know he's <laughs> had some problems. It's fair enough. Yeah. And I feel for him. Yeah. I mean, I don't think they'll give up on him. No. Yeah, especially with like how you know aware people are with like uh, mental illness and things. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think they'll give him a chance. I think he will come to eventually. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, I, I wish him. I wish him well. Yeah, of course. Me too. Um, I think the original plan was for him to have a match with John Cena. Yeah. He was going to be the reason that John Cena was out of the Royal Rumble, and then that would lead to them having a match against one another at WrestleMania, where wow. I assume Lars wins. Yeah, you think so? That'd be awesome, actually. Yeah, it'd be uh, really good. Let, and I hope it happens. still happens. I think it'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, it'd be awesome. Um, Things are asked. But it's weird what they're doing with the call-ups at the minute. You're right, it is a very weird feud for EC3. Um... I just, I just don't want it, actually, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, just get over it. Have every two, three win, and then move, let me want something else, and let them talk. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I don't know. Good shrug. You know it. Uh, so we had a really good match. Excellent match. Match of the week, probably. Uh, the Revival versus uh, Bobby Roode and Chad Gable for the Raw Tag Team Championships. Yeah, fourth time. Yeah, fourth time. Um, Chad Gable is ripped, by the way. Yeah, yeah he is. <laughs> he really is. Uh, awesome wrestler, too. He's like, so good. Oh, he's awesome. He's Incredible. so underrated. Yeah, so, so underrated. Um, and this was an amazing match. Holy shit. Really good, yep. Really, really good. Really, really good. Exactly. It's a, it's a great um, ad, uh, advertisement for tag team wrestling. Yeah. I mean, you Perfect. know, tag team wrestling is great anyway, mm. and it should be featured prominently. It always was when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, you know, there's a distinct lack of tag teams at the minute. Good tag teams. Proper tag teams, yeah, yeah. Yeah, proper tag teams. And that's probably fair. Um <clears throat> but yeah this was a really good match I mean I, I don't want Chad Gable and Bobby Roode to be in a feud what I think will happen eventually is Bobby Roode turns on him mm. and they stick Jason Jordan and Chad Gable back together mm. yeah I, I can't see Chad Gable on the going singles one to be honest Nobody won't would... happen just no? won't no? I, I don't think for me no I don't, I, for me I don't think it will happen interesting okay they, they, they keep putting him in tag teams. <laughs> they do, they do. Uh, there's like, yeah. there's, I don't remember... I mean, he's barely ever been on a singles run. 
yeah. at all. I think he has, no. I think he's always he an American his. alpha. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then he was uh, with Shelton Benjamin. Yep. Now he's with Bobby Roode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's destined to be a tag team guy forever, I guess. They shouldn't have broke American Alpha up. They did it way too quick. Yeah, yeah. They came out of nowhere. Jason Jordan wasn't ready to <laughs> go out on his own because no. the people just, although he's very, very talented, and he's got the look and everything like that, it just wasn't ready. No, it's still you know very green. Wasn't ready to be thrust into the main event. Like he was. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the Kurt Angle, Angle something is <laughs> lunacy. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The fact that he's still playing with it as well. He still brings it up every now and then. It's like, just, no, just like, forget yeah, it. Like when he did that speech on Raw last week, and he's <laughs> like, yeah, I found my, uh, my, my son. <laughs> no, he didn't. No, you didn't. Shut up. <laughs> uh, Who's the mum? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but yeah, this was a match. Um, ended it with an awesome looking crossbody reversal into a chat machine. Looks so good. Yeah, it was awesome. And uh, yeah, Revival wins. They're new, finally, well-deserved tag team champions. Weird that it uh, coincides with the mask for their release, allegedly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. But they, they are genuinely a very, very good tag team. Yeah, awesome. I, I'm really happy that they're the tag team champions. Me too. I just hope they don't WWE it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to lose it immediately like, next week or something. I mean, they'll keep it until WrestleMania when Hawkins and Ryder win the tag team titles. God, can you imagine? <laughs> uh, imagine. I won't need to imagine after WrestleMania because uh, it would have happened. God damn it. It's, it's a shame they're missing all over again, isn't it? You're predicting it before it's even becomes a thing. It's yeah. going to happen because you're always right about these things. God damn it. You, you jinxed it now. Now it's going to happen. Damn it. Damn it, Sonny. Gah. I'm, I'm sticking with it as well. Gah. Even when they're not in the match <laughs> at WrestleMania, I'm like, they're still, still going to win it. It's still going to happen, yeah. God damn it. Also, bring new tag belts, please. These ones you've got at the minute suck. Sorry. Yeah, I don't like them either. But <laughs> obviously, they've been teasing the return of, well, the potential return of the old tag team titles. Yeah, yeah, that's what I enjoyed, actually. Could I'd be, be cool. well up for that. Yeah, me too. Probably won't cool. happen. Probably not, but nah. it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and then the last bit we had on Raw was uh, Becky comes down, apologises, and gets her match at WrestleMania. Or does she? Because then, Bridget Rand comes down, um, and dispense it with Jackie Days. Because fuck you, I'm Bridget Rand. <laughs> <laughs> and that takes out WrestleMania. What? what? I will tweet about this. I know, right? And I will you... get so angry. Yes. Because and it... this program <laughs> it means so much to me. And it's so real, 100% of the time. 100%, <laughs> 100% real. Yes. And uh, yeah, it relates us out with Charlotte. <gasps> dun, dun, what? Dun. With someone tendency to turn to heel, I guess. <laughs> I, sure. I am going to. I am angry. I know, right? I'll go straight to Twitter and just tweet all about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tweet about this very real scenario that's. Definitely not going to end in Becky winning the championship at WrestleMania. Never. No, it's not going to happen. No, no way. Gag the bottle. I mean, how could she? Should we just end it? Literally impossible. But well, that's true, yeah. It's yeah. literally, yeah. I mean, yeah. somebody tweeted. Somebody tweeted. <laughs> I think it was like one of the like, the dirt sheet writers wrote, she's de- oh, I think it was JR. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was JR. He was like, she's, Becky will definitely be in the match. And Charlotte tweeted, but she's, she's to quote tweeted it and put, but she's suspended. <laughs> How could she possibly? <laughs> How much of a dick is Charlotte going to look when Becky wins a belt? Uh, <laughs> Charlotte's been golden on uh, Twitter this week, by the way. She's been awesome. really tearing people apart. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was talking about uh, how someone dissed, like, uh, Eve Marie or something. It's like, they came to the defense or something. Something like that. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, it's like, actually, yeah, she's really hard and she could be awesome. So, fair enough, then. She's coming about, back. Apparently so, because apparently she's just been rumored to be coming, working, working her way back to WWE. Which, if she's, you know, actually decent this time, I'm all for. Hey, look, <laughs> I, um, I was, uh, I had a lot of respect for Eva Marie going back to NXT to yeah. work on being a wrestler. Yeah, I mean, it's totally fair. I mean, she also wants to be good. She just needs to, you know. Yeah, and it wasn't her fault that they brought her back up so quick. No, no, no not at all. Um, yeah, she made mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. But if she's willing to work hard um, and, you know, be a good wrestler. Yeah. I think I think she wants to prove people wrong. So look, I can wrestle. I need to prove. And well, you, yeah, know what, awesome. you know what? I'm fair play to her. Yeah, absolutely fair because play. Because the internet like just takes the piss out of her constantly. She, yeah. They 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 will always make comparisons um, of other crap women wrestlers, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It's the only word I could think of. Fair. Um, <laughs> and they all go, "Oh God, she's the next Eve. Mandy Rose." There we go. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, she's the next Eva Marie. Well, Mandy Rose is probably actually very talented. You just don't give her a chance. Yeah, give her a chance because yeah. she's. Uh, you know, she she looks the way that she does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, she's the one she brought probably brought up too early again. But uh, you know, give her time; she might you know, improve. But you know, people are very quick to, especially in this day and age, the internet era. Mm, yeah. But Trish Stratus started as eye candy. Yeah. For Test and Albert, she yep. was their manager. The tag team was called TNA, <laughs> and she was wearing very little on TV weekly. 
Yes. And now people largely regard regard Trish Stratus as one of the best women wrestlers ever. Yeah, exactly. It's the, you know, and she started in exactly the same way. So people should probably probably be not so quick to judge. Yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah, give her a chance. Definitely. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, that was raw. And we just do SmackDown. When Eva Marie comes back, I'm going to buy an Eva Marie t-shirt and wear it every week on this podcast. Nice. I like it. <laughs> I've got a Brie mode one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember that, actually, yeah. I wore it at WrestleMania. From- <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, cool. So, SmackDown kicks off with Charlotte coming down to the ring. Um, oh, God. Oh, God. Bloody Charlotte. I'm rubbing oh. down our faces. Oh, bloody hell. Jesus. Oh. Just, you seem to be uh, showing off her, uh, you know, her... Uh, um, a boobles a bit more. Why well, you got to be a pervert about it? <laughs> I'm not talking about pervert. Just, 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 come on. Just an observation, you know. It's like you're trying. It's not a sex object thing. <laughs> it's like to turn heel, and then that means you have to show your boobs more. I guess. I don't know. That's how it works, right? Of course. I mean, that's how I assume it works. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is an observation I, I made. <clears throat> so, uh, quite yeah. the observation. <laughs> Thanks. Um, you know, I'd like to. I'll just make you notes. Hey, look, I don't judge. <laughs> pervert. So it's okay. So I don't judge you. I mean, okay, yeah. Pervert. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. But uh, yeah, so you mentioned how to going to WrestleMania. It's like, oh, uh, Becky's not here. Ha ha, I just suspended. Um, and that's pretty much it. Nothing much really happened. She just came down and spoke. About WrestleMania. Yeah. It's um, fine. Did somebody interrupt her? Um, uh, nope. Pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure. Yeah, pretty sure. Okay, right, good. Yeah, nothing really happened. Um, yeah, that was that. It's pretty well, but here, I guess, it's just fine. I'm certain somebody interrupted her. Uh, I don't think so. Let's, let's, maybe the next match kind of coincided with it. And did Naomi and Carmella come down? I don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the next match was uh, Naomi and Kamala versus the Iconics versus Manny Rhodes and Sonny Bill to decide, much like War, uh, who would be the last person to enter the Elimination Chamber. Or first person to enter the Chamber. Yeah, see? Oh, see, no, I'm see, see it's <laughs> still confusing now. We yeah, know yeah. what's happened. Yeah. yeah, whoever loses enters first. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Got so it. why would you have a triple threat match? Yeah, it's bizarre. What I also don't understand, <laughs> and I'm sure the, you know, I just don't understand the pur- the purpose and Kaylee pointed this out, and obviously Kaylee's a new wrestling fan. Yeah. Um, she was like, "If it's a triple threat match, why aren't one of the iconics in the match?" Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it shouldn't be. It's like, yeah, you're right because should be one of each in the ring. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that surely makes sense because it gave the iconics the chance to do exactly what they did, yeah. and that was stand outside the ring. <laughs> do no disqualification for that. No count out. Yeah. And to be honest, I, I kind of like that they did that. To, to, to like, like, hey, we didn't even have to be in the ring without to. Hey, we didn't make these <laughs> stupid rules up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, and it's ended up with the, um, Naomi pinning Manny Rose. Uh, Naomi seemed a little bit pissed, more pissed off than usual. I wonder it's because her husband got arrested the night before. No, it was the night before, was it? <laughs> I think it was, yeah, yeah. The Usos were on SmackDown, though, weren't they? They were, yeah. I think they posted a bail or something, his bail or something. But just too many at it. So yeah, there you go. That'll, that'll help. <laughs> so we've got our own penitentiary to go to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But who's a penitentiary? Um, <laughs> See, that was the thing. Apparently, he um, got drunk and yelled at the policeman and got, like, squared up to him or something. And got yeah, apparently, he took his shirt off. That's uh, how hard men do it, by the way. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. That's yeah. why that's why I do it. I mean, Yeah, well, yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, why would you not? Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's the thing. Um, so, Naomi pinned Manny Rose and Manny Rose and Johnny Roll along with uh, Becky and... Not Becky. Bloody Bailey and Sasha will be entering the chamber first. Mm. So, yeah. Cool, I guess. Sure. sure. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we found out some sad news that Mustafa Ali will be out of the Elimination Chamber due to injury. This is sad news because he's yeah, been really sad. great as well. He's been awesome, yeah. It's been a big push. Um, they put it down to him uh, suffering from the attack last week from Rowan. Um, the actual reason is because he got concussioned at some house show, which really sucks. Really bad timing. Yeah, that really sucks. Um, he's been on such a great run. I have no doubt that he will bounce back and be better than ever, but oh, yeah. um, he's great. I mean, I'm super excited for his future. Yeah, me too. He's going to be awesome. His promos are amazing as well, by the way. Yeah. I mean, I promo he did like like camera in snow, whatever it was. <laughs> on SmackDown. in uh, the North Pole. Uh, <laughs> yeah, doing, his, so, yeah. Uh, doing his promo. It's, yeah, but that's why coming across very heartfelt and very genuine. So, uh, yeah. yeah. I think that's what I like about him. He does yeah. come across very much like that. Yeah, absolutely. It's I mean, there's, there's inevitable down the line that he's going to turn heel and be like, yeah. you know what? I used to pull my heart and sides. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, and you showed me nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and, you, and all you did was disrespect, disrespect <laughs> me, man. Yeah. That's, 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 how, that's how wrestling works. That's exactly how wrestling works. Yeah. Give it a year and a half. It's absolutely. Um, so yeah, then they announced that there will be a going to the match later tonight to find out who and his last in the Elimination Chamber match and Ali will be replaced by Again, a... Again, another one of these weird matches. Yeah, I know, right. And Ali will be replaced by a member of the New Day. New Day? New Day? Interesting. Um, I think he's right. This is... The gauntlet match. How is it fair for number one and two? Exactly, yeah. Right, you've got to win from the start here, fellas. Yeah, you've got to win six matches in a row. Good luck. Yeah. 
Yeah, good luck. And if you do, <laughs> then you can go in last in the Elimination Chamber. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A match Ooh. that will definitely be shorter than this gauntlet match. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, dear. Oh. Um, so we had... Ugh. We had McMiz TV. I fast forwarded it. Yeah, I was having too. none of it. Yeah, I, I did as well, to be honest. Then fresh out the penitentiary. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Straight back into the USO penitentiary. Yep, yep. They interrupted. Yep. And, and it, I'm sure they said words. I just... uh, yeah, so it pretty much ended with a double super kick to Shane and Miz. Um, and I really, really hope Shane and Miz lose, lose an elimination chamber. Nope. Which they probably won't because, you know, he got arrested. One of the users got arrested, and that's probably not very good <laughs> for them. <laughs> In WWE no, guys. probably not, no. Yeah. <laughs> anyway <laughs> violence is fine in a wrestling ring it's not fine outside exactly yeah you can kick people in the face all you want exactly yeah it doesn't work like that in real life <laughs> it just doesn't unfortunately not yeah uh, so we had the before mentioned uh, corner match which is long as dicks yeah it was super long <laughs> uh, which is fair play it started off with uh, Daniel Bryan versus a new member from the New Day who's going to be is he going to be Big E no maybe maybe it's going to be um, Xavier Woods or nope it's Kevin Kingston Good. Fair play, yeah, good. I lo- I, I, Kofi Kingston is so good. He's awesome, yeah. Like, he's, <laughs> he's been... I mean, he never had like a super mega main event run or anything like that. No, no. The only feud that really springs to mind is the one against Randy Orton when he like oh, yeah. uh, chucked paint all over his car or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was a really good feud. It was, actually. And like, yeah. Kofi Kingston and Randy Orton were doing insane stuff in the in the crowd and whatnot. Yeah. It was really great. Very cool. And yeah, good to see he's been thrown into this and... Damn, what a showing he had. God. Amazing. Holy shit. I have read that he, he, this obviously was originally intention to be Mustafa Ali, and he was supposed to have a very similar run to yeah, make yeah. him look like absolutely amazing. Probably for him to be eliminated in the Elimination Chamber first. <laughs> Probably. But, yeah. But uh, yeah, this is awesome. Uh, I'm glad Kevin's getting a push. He deserves it. I was all these years. But is he getting a push? I know he's I think... in this match, but he isn't going to win it. No, of course not. But I think he will get... This will put, put this, put this will elevate him to the next level. In I hope some so. Sort. I mean, a lot of people were talking about it. Yeah, I hope he hangs around the main event. I think he will. For a you while. think he will? I think so. I hope so. What, in place of Mustafa Ali? Um, no, what, well, I don't know. I think they both coexist in the main event picture. Really? I think, I think, I think so. <sighs> Maybe. I hope. Maybe I'm just hoping too much. I, I would like at least <laughs> Kofi to have some sort of singles title run. You should. Because I don't think he'll be around for much longer. I think he will retire. Yeah. I think he'll retire early. I think he's one of those sensible guys who's probably saved money, does have a family. Yeah, yeah. Um, so... I, it wouldn't surprise me to see because he said already like once New Day's done he's he's done yeah that would suck um, and um, it does suck but again health is more important yeah absolutely. if you can retire I early and it. afford to do so I mean he he will always be able to come back and do pre-show and oh, yeah. all that sort of WWE network garbage but yeah you know, so but yeah. he'll be around in some like Edge and Christian yeah exactly yeah <laughs> but I think I think he definitely deserves one main, major title in his career Lenny career. Yeah, I'd love, I'd love for him to be the world champion. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I just don't see it. No. <coughs> well, well, maybe. It could surprise us. Um, but yeah, really good match. Um, really awesome showing. He actually beat Danny Ryan, which is awesome. Mm. Uh, WWE champion. Um, nearly got kicked out uh, during the match uh, for beating a Rowan, who interfered first. And uh, then Rowan got kicked out later by throwing Kofi over the <laughs> into Time's area, time, Timekeeper's area, which looked awesome because like chocked him really far. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, Ryan with a winning knee, missed. Kobe hits a trouble in paradise and won. Nice. Pin WWE champion. Good stuff. Yeah, cool. And then we had uh, Jeff Hardy came down. He was next. And once again, Kobe won. Nice quick little match. Kobe won with his uh, SOS it's thing, which I like a lot. Which should be a finisher. Is that the one where yeah. um, it's like a, it's like the flips into the powerbomb type thing? Yeah, that flips over and then pin, pins him all at once. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very cool looking move. I like it. I, I've always liked the trouble in paradise though. Yeah, me too. Good I always moan about running kicks, but like Kobe's is a little bit different. Yeah, yeah, it's like the like yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's not like a running knee like everyone else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like an actual athletic, yeah, jumping, spinning kick thing. Yes, it's cool. Looks like it would actually hurt if it kicks you in the face with it. <laughs> I think a knee to the face would hurt. Probably. Well, that's a good point. I give fair fair point. <laughs> so after Jeff Hardy was uh, Samoa Joe, it's again another cool little match and another one for Kofi. Uh, Joe was, Joe was on top was on top most of the match, uh, but Kofi reversed a coquito clutch into a roll up and uh, won. See, again. I like little wins like that. Yeah, you know? makes sense. Like just little cheap wins where he's been dominated the whole match but still scrapes a win. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, good stuff. I love the story they told. Yeah. Even if good. it was meant for Mustafa Ali, <laughs> I'm still happy that Kofi got that slot. Yeah, yeah. And I'm happy that people were talking about him because it's awesome. Yeah, so good. Uh, so Joe and Jax after the match uh, locking in his cookie little lights outside the ring. Uh, but then AJ came down to break it up and he was the next uh, competitor. 
uh, Edge was like, oh, I don't want to fight him because he's all beaten up. And then Kofi got all angry and pushed him around and was like, I want to fight you. Which they did. And it was good. Again, nice good little match. Uh, good showing by Kofi again. Gets in a good uh, few close calls, close pinfalls. But ends up tapping out to the uh, calf crusher, which is fair enough. And uh, yeah, great showing for Kofi. Yeah. Lots of nice little matches. Good stuff. 51 minutes. Um, really? Kofi Kingston was in that match, yeah. Wow, damn. Good stuff. Very good stuff. And then, just as uh, AJ's waiting for Randy Orton, out of nowhere, from behind, oh. RKO, oh my god, out of nowhere, and one slot on one move. <laughs> and that was it, Randy Orton wins. <laughs> um, so, uh, Randy Orton winning the Elimination Chamber confirmed? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not. But uh, I would suggest not. No. But uh, yeah, really, really good match. Really good call the match. Liked it. Good stuff. Good job, cool. Kobe. Still doesn't make any sense, but uh, <laughs> Probably it's not. fine. Yeah, good stuff. Just pick a number out of the hat or something. Yeah, pretty much. But uh, yeah, good smackdown. I liked oh, it. Oh, yeah. Cool. Not bad wrestling this week. Yeah, it was all right. Some good talking points, I thought. Yeah, definitely. Let's quickly run through our Elimination Chamber predictions. Yes, let's do that. Right, so the first match I've on here is the um, pre-show match, Buddy Murphy versus Akira Tozawa. For the Why is this on the pre-show? For- because Vince hates 205 Live, I guess. I thought it was really good. I hope it was the last few weeks. It's actually been really, really good. Yeah, it's been really good, yeah. <laughs> I loved it. Um, it's short, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's short, short and sweet. Like two matches and a bit of backstage stuff. Yeah, that's true. Could do a few more matches. <coughs> yeah. so the matches are actually given time to breathe, which I true. like. True. Oh, they're actually given time to go out there and showcase their cruiserweight skills. Yeah, which is good. Really good. Yeah. I'll tell yeah. you who I am enjoying, actually, on the subject of 205. I really like Mike Bennett. Oh, yeah. And I wanted, well, Mike Kennelly, sorry, I'm, that's the mark in me coming out. Sorry, <laughs> oh, it's Mark God. Oh, no, I'm oh. sorry, I'm sorry. God. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, um, I really like him, and he's on this sort of losing streak at the minute, but he's also doing cool promos. Yeah. So they, they clearly have stock in him. Yeah, yeah. I'm just waiting for them to pull the trigger on his inevitable title run. Yes. Or for him to inevitably leave, leave and go to AEW. No. I don't think he will. No. <laughs> I don't even think so either. Well, I mean, uh, they apparently <laughs> asked for their release as well. Yeah, so. yeah. That, yeah. Who knows? You know, I don't know what to believe. I mean, uh, earlier on this week, Goldberg was joining AEW. <laughs> then Batista <laughs> is spotted talking to Chris Jericho, and I'm sure they're friends. They've known each other for years. <laughs> yeah. But now he's going to AEW. He's been definitely spoken to AEW. <laughs> How do you know that? How do you know? Uh, you tap in his phone. Yeah. This. And uh, Undertaker's at this uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, Undertaker, like this yeah. convention thing, this Starcast thing. He'll be there. And uh, be he's like, oh, I wonder if uh, <laughs> that's not really right. It's like, oh, I wonder if AEW could book Sting versus Undertaker. No, that ain't going to happen. Of course they couldn't. They want <laughs> new wrestling. They want an alternative uh, to WWE. They don't want this WCW type stuff. No, come on. What a mistake that would be. Uh, <laughs> Sting versus Undertaker didn't happen at WrestleMania. Ain't never going to happen. <laughs> nope. Undertaker won't wrestle for anyone else. He'll just do appearances. Apparently, he's charging like $25,000 an hour. Ouch. Bloody hell. <laughs> but that's close to what we charge. That's sad. Fair to pay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're worth it, though. We're worth it. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. yeah. Of course. I mean, we obviously are going to AEW. Of course, yeah. Why wouldn't we? Um, <laughs> insert Cody give here. <laughs> How do we get to AEW from Buddy Murphy versus Kyoto Tower? Anyway, <laughs> so who do you think going to win this match? Uh, Buddy Murphy. Yeah, obviously. Me too. Which is a shame because Akira Tazawa has been really good recently. Yeah, he's awesome. I love him. It's so good. I love but, the, uh, the sense on the height he gets is ridiculous. Yeah, so good. Um, yeah, both these guys are awesome. But yeah, I definitely see Billy Murphy walking away. I, I think, I think so, keeping yeah. him until WrestleMania for sure. You think? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the other alternative is, I mean, obviously, I was t- touching on uh, the subject of Mike Kanellis there. Maybe Akira Tazawa could win it, and Mike Kanellis, being the heel, does eventually win the belt. Mm, I can look. What could happen? Not on the. I mean, I know the though, titles yeah. change on the pre-show, and we always say they're not going to, but... Ooh. Oh, I don't know. I want I want more for 205. Me too. Yes. Who knows? Fingers crossed. Everybody get, everybody get to pick up. Everybody get put on the main show at some point, please. please. I mean, they snuck it off the main show. I'm telling it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So we have uh, Braun Strowman versus Baron Corbin in a no-DQ match. Just because. There's nothing else to do, I guess. Baron Corbin isn't going to win, is he? <laughs> nah, of course not. Is that on the pre-show as well? <laughs> um, I don't think so. Surely it's not. Surely not, no. Can't be. I mean, but the body will be in another pre-show match added later, but last time I checked, it was a double match so far. What did I say earlier on it was going to be? EC3 versus Dean Ambrose? Ah, yeah, yeah. That could be it. Then, do we want those two on the pre-show? They're like big stars. One big come, um, come star and Dean Ambrose has been WWE champ. WWE have title <laughs> matches on the pre-show. Yeah, I guess, I guess so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Yes. Anyway, so yeah, four times in that match, obvs. Yeah, um, yeah, for sure, yeah. So we have uh, Bobby Lashley and Leah Rush versus Finn Balor in a handicap Intercontinental Intercontinental title match. Um, 
But Finn can pin either man, either man to win the, win the title, which is interesting. Uh, so Finn pins Leo Rush to win? That could happen. It could happen. You think Bobby Lashley's going to win? Hard to say. I want Finn to win. I do. Do you think his moment comes at WrestleMania? Maybe. So no, we've still got two pay-per-views in between now and then. <laughs> we do. We've got fast names, haven't we? Um, uh, I don't know. Oh, God, it's tough, isn't it? Because if Finn loses again... Yeah. You know what? Screw it. I'll say Finn. Finn's going to win. I think Finn will win. Yep. Okay, cool. He's been pit against these... Mo- like, they've been... Obviously, he had that match with Brock Lesnar. Then he's been fighting McIntyre and Lashley and... Yeah. He's got to beat one of the big guys in a meaningful match at some point. I, Makes I, sense. God, Finn would be great with the IC title. <laughs> yeah, it would be. He'd be perfect for it. Um, so yeah, I think if with Finn does win, I think he's going to pin Leo Rush uh, and then that will give him the excuse to have a rematch later down the line because they're those scrapped automatically rematches. But yeah, yeah. he probably goes to like, oh, he didn't pin me, he didn't pin me with the title. That'll give him the excuse to have a match again, just those two. There's no rematches, but there's definitely rematches. Oh yeah. <laughs> there's no rematches except when there are. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah, which is all the time. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, so we have uh, Miz and Shane McMahon versus the Usos uh, for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, m- um, I'm not going to call them McMiz. I'm having none of it. No, me neither. The Miz and Shane McMahon will win. <laughs> yeah, I know you are definitely one hundred percent right. But I'm still going to say the Usos because I don't want to. Don't even want to though do he's been, uh, even though he's been arrested, even though he's, he's done a hard time. <laughs> oh yes, he's been in the real life penitentiary. Yeah, um, I'm still going to say the Usos. I because... imagine that when Jimmy Uso was taken, was he taken to prison? He was, uh, wasn't he? I don't know. <laughs> I, I think it was a mugshot. Yeah, I think it was much like. In fact, I think it was exactly like <laughs> when the Mountie was arrested after his match with the Big Boss Man at SummerSlam '91. Nice us go back. <laughs> um. It's awesome because the Mountie gave the middle finger when he was given his fingerprint. Oh, really? <laughs> nice. It's wonderful. You want, you want the finger? Here's the finger. And I put, so it, it, awesome. It's a, it's a great time. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it because it's amazing. Be Summer Slam 91 is a really good show. Nice. Good stuff. A, and it also has the, the best wrestling wedding song of all time <laughs> in, uh, like when Macho Man and Liz, it's fucking sad that I remember this. <laughs> But um, like when like the video package for Macho Man and Elizabeth's wedding, which happens at SummerSlam '91, oh yeah, is brilliant. Nice. I feel like Linda there. Huh? <laughs> I'll go back and Linda there. Yeah, definitely. It, it, in fact, it was so good that it even made. I don't know if you remember a few years ago, like they brought a um, a WWE like anthology box set of CDs out. Oh, yeah. It was like a cool fold out thing, and it had like the Federation years and oh, nice. uh, Attitude Era, and then like I think the latest one was had like Shame at Man's Music on or whatever. Yeah, lovely. It was, on, it was on there. Cool. Excellent. Um, <laughs> thumbs up. Then we had uh, one, then we have um, Wanda Rousey versus Ruby Wright for the World champ- uh, Tag Team, tag team. World Women's tra- Championship. So Ruby Wright's going to win Chibity and uh, Fatal 4 way at WrestleMania, anyone? Yeah, of course. Yeah, obviously. Uh, but no, one's going to win. Ops. <laughs> yeah. Who's, yeah. <laughs> poor, poor Ruby. Um, <laughs> so we have the um, Women's Tag Team Elimination Chamber match. Tag Team Title Elimination Chamber match. With, first time ever. First time ever. With uh, Naya and Tamina. Nice no, action, Tamina. Uh, Bailey and Chasha, uh, Naomi and Carmella. I'm not going to get together at all. And the Riot Squad, Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan versus the Iconics, Peyton Royce and Billy Kay versus Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. Have you yeah. seen those uh, those, those uh, interviews they've been like putting on of like where the, the two women have been sitting in the same room? And oh yeah. Did you see the Nia Jax and Tamina one? Uh, I think I probably skipped it. Like um, Nia Jax, like Nia Jax did most of the talking. Tamina like would pipe up. Uh-huh. But like Nia Jax would talk over the top of her, <laughs> so like Tamina would just be like, oh, oh, like in the background. <laughs> right? God damn it! Like Nia Jax would be like, "Yeah, we're gonna win the women's tag team championship." And Tamina would be like, oh, oh, oh. like but, and then, then Nia would just talk over her, and in God. the end, Tamina was just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> "Oh God, awkward." Uh, Tamina sucks. I'm yeah, so sorry, does. but yeah. I've never thought she was good. Yeah, she's always been just kind of garbage. <laughs> yeah, it's never going to change. Yeah. Her music's awful. The way that she walks down to the ring is awful. <laughs> she hasn't, can't even do a promo because Nia Jax is talking over the top of her. Oh <laughs> uh, uh, dear. Anyway, who's going to win the match? Who's going to be the first ever women's tag team champ- champions? I think it's too obvious for it to be Sasha and Bailey, right? Mm, maybe. Maybe. I'm going to go for the Iconics. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Um, my second pick would be the Riot. In fact, no, no, I'm going to change it. I'm going for the Riot Squad. All right, okay. Fair Liv play. and um, Sarah Logan. Nice. Uh, I'll, I'll give you the obvious answer. I gave it to Sasha Bailey. Uh, I think they have a quick one for the title. Uh, lose at a fast lane, Sasha will turn heel, and then they'll fight, fight out of This again? Shrug. It means it's got to happen, right? 
Surely. Surely that's what this building yeah, is. I feel like we've been saying it for <laughs> so long now. Well, I know, yeah, it's it's just happen. never happened. It's got to happen eventually, right? Guys, well, I, don't right? Know, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I'd like to see somebody not Sasha and Bailey win it. That, yeah, I'd like to see that too. I don't think I'd still think it will. I'd even like <laughs> Mandy Rose and Sonny Deville to win it. <laughs> it could happen. It could happen. It won't, but it could happen. They don't want Eva Marie to come back and win both titles. Yeah, why not? <laughs> On their own. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, so we have the uh, men's WWE Championship um, Eliminated Chamber match, which of course Danny Bryan versus AJ Stars versus Randy Orton versus Samoa Joe versus Jeff Hardy versus Kofi Kingston. Uh, there's no way Daniel Bryan loses the title. Uh, no, not the title WrestleMania. Uh, so yeah, DB, Danny Bryan. Do the women go on last, do we think? Um, I don't I mean, that's a history well, moment. It is, that's a good point, actually. It's a history like making. Crowning a, you know, a, the, the crowning of a new champion. Yeah, yeah. First ever women's tag team titles in WWE. Yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? It should go on last, yeah. I think so. Yeah, good. Uh, but Daniel Bryan is not going to lose that belt, no way. No, no. It's a, not, 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 he just made, got a new belt. Who do you think he fights at WrestleMania, <laughs> out of curiosity? Hmm. Who would need? Um, you can't have AJ Styles again. Yeah. I can, uh, people, people have panned that match. Yeah. I would say some Mojo, that'd be heel versus heel. Uh, Jeff Hardy, yeah. Can I with Kofi Kingston? Uh. <laughs> I mean, I originally said Mustafa Ali, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. And maybe we can, come, we can come back in time. Maybe Mustafa Ali can still be in there. I mean, we have got a way to go until WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah, it's a good couple months. Mm. So, it could happen. That's the thing. Aside from AJ Styles, who is the <laughs> superstar on SmackDown? Yeah, yeah. I know who the superstar is on SmackDown. He's <laughs> just been out for a little while. <laughs> Who's that? You know who it is. Uh, uh, no, wait. Uh, Kevin Owens? No. Uh, 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 I don't know. You know who it is. <laughs> oh, of course. It's got to be Sin Cara. <laughs> yes. Of course. It's got to be Sin Cara. So Sin Cara versus <laughs> Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania. It's confirmed. 100%. For the, uh, the wooden, or whatever it is, WWE <laughs> Championship. Yeah. And Sin Cara will win, obviously. Yes. Why wouldn't he? And then we'll go on and win, win the um, Intercontinental title. Yeah. And the US title. Yep. And, and the Women's else. Tag Team title. Women's Tag Team, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Sin Cara wins all the belts. Of course. Fact. 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 It's happening. <laughs> so that's... <laughs> <laughs> so that's Elimination Chamber this Sunday yep. um, it's going to be good I'm lo- oh, it might be good I'm looking forward to it I hope so I think it's, it's potential, to be good. potential to be good yeah for sure yeah definitely won't be as good as Undertaker versus Sting at uh, Double or Nothing oh of course not no <laughs> that match is definitely going to happen yeah, they might even make it a triple play throw Ric Flair in there as well <laughs> god can you imagine yeah. <laughs> I mean, that would be a WWE thing to do or WCW thing to do yeah it would be yeah Yeah. and then like, have David Arquette as well <laughs> yeah. if for some reason he's still wrestling in 2019 yeah why not Sure. <laughs> this has been the Games and Grats podcast, episode ninety. Oh yes. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Saturday across podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. And youtube.com forward slash games graps. Yes. And turnbuckletv.com. Ooh. Thank you very much for listening. I'm Sunny. I'm Finn. And we will speak to you next time. Take it easy guys. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Goodbye.